What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For all my new viewers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my content. Okay, so let's dive right in. Today we're going to install the Banks Pedal Monster Kit, the Banks Derringer, with the iDash and the Banks Ram Air intake on this 22 GMC Denali Duramax L5P. All right, let's start off by doing a quick unbox. Now we ordered this from the Banks website. Um, it's super easy to have all the information on their website on what you need for your make, model, and year. Uh, let's start with the Pedal Monster kit. Now, the Pedal Monster is awesome. I've had it on a 1500 and man, it makes a difference. Now this should just be a plug and play. Um, I know my previous one on my 1500, there was an app that went along with it. I'm assuming that the iDash will be able to also control this. So basically this plugs in line with your accelerator pedal. pedal. There's another harness, we'll have to look, read the instructions. I think this is the iDash um, the harness that you can communicate with. And it should come with some zip ties and instruction manual. Sweet. Super easy plug and play stuff. Uh, the pedal monster is awesome. I have another video. Check it out on the 1500 uh, Silverado on a 2018. And it, it was just amazing. I loved having the Pink's pedal monster on that truck. It made a huge difference. Okay, we got the. Banks i dash pod mount and this goes to the stock pillar on um, it looks like you might have to drill out something um, you read the instructions but man that's going to be super clean they used to have to offer the whole a pillar uh, panel and you'd have to it's plastic this looks like it's going to be super straight it's really tough plastic um, we'll, we'll check it out and how the install goes in throughout the video all right and then the next box in the kit is the Derringer with the iDash. Um, Banks gives you everything you need for the install. And I've installed a couple of these on some older L5Ps and it, it's super simple. You literally just plug this in and then the hardest part is running the wires through the dash to, to the iDash. To the iDash. So you have to find where you can go through the firewall. I believe there's the instructions tell you. Uh, we'll, we'll cover all that on this install video. The Derringer comes with the engine harness. It plugs into a few of its sensors. Um, each one is labeled. Man, that's nice. I remember them not being able on some of the older versions, but this plugs into the map and this plugs into the fuel rail pressure sensor, I believe. And then this is your DLC connector. And then the actual harness that plugs into the Derringer module. This plugs into the Derringer module and to the iDash so it can communicate. And then you get all your zip ties and instruction manual. There we go, that's the un unboxing. Let's jump right into the install. Banks does offer a mobile version instruction booklet. They don't offer the full booklet anymore in the boxes. So you usually have instructions accessible and they're a mobile version that stay condensed. Man, this is, this is sweet. Banks is really on top of their stuff. Um, it shows you exactly where to route and mount the Derringer modules, where to plug in um, the map sensor and the fuel rail pressure sensor. If you have like any questions on which one's which, they clearly label them. Um, so that is really sweet and simple. What I'll probably do is just do like a time lapse of me just installing this stuff since Banks does offer such in-depth instructions on how to install this kit. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, remove before dealer visit. So I always thought Banks, uh, it doesn't void your warranty, but uh, dealerships will not really like that stuff installed. They will blame everything on a tuner. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say that they would void your warranty unless it's directly related to the failure. Um, I used to work at GM dealerships. I worked at Chevrolet for almost 18 years, and any chance we got to say that there was a tune. Um, 
on the ECM, we would we would like to avoid repairs. So be cautious of that. Remove it, uninstall it. It is a plug and play, so it shouldn't necessarily show up on the on the software firmware calibration uh, history, but you never know. So let's just dive into the install. Uh, it looks pretty simple. It's just plug and play, and then we route a few of the wires through. It looks like on the GMC through the driver's door panel. Um, like it's not the panel, but it is on the on the body side. There's a little grommet. It's all in the instructions. So let's jump right in. so far I'll show you um, I'm just trying to route it along where the harness already is uh, I haven't zip tied anything yet uh, you're gonna need a, a stool of course um, you can see that these are plugged in line and um, here is the map sensor and they just are in line with the connector itself and then here is the fuel pressure and you can see it is in line you disconnect them and plug each male and female back in to the bank's harness. I ran it near the actual engine harness and then just kind of followed it along down. Um, I haven't exactly decided exactly where I'm gonna zip tie yet, but um, you kind of want to stick with where the harness already is so you know it's not gonna chafe or rub on anything uh, just like the factory. So let's keep going. And this bottle is a lot easier. What you do is you're gonna run it along this um, fender and in, in between the fender and the body and there's just a little opening and it comes, goes down through and then you'll get it on this side and just kind of pull it through. And then there's a grommet right here. So there's a grommet right here that will go into the truck and Banks uh, recommends you get, remove that grommet put a hole in it, slide the connector through, and then it'll come through the body side here. Um, so I'll work on that and then you fish it through, fish it up here, and then it will come up along this so you can plug it in to the bank's um, eye dash. Okay, getting that grommet out, I always recommend a trim tool in all my videos. Um, I usually put links to some cheap Amazon ones. You're definitely gonna need it to get to get that that little grommet off so there it is let's see if i can catch it oh so it should just pop right out and this is going to be your little uh, pass through grommet that you're going to use uh, you're going to want to make the hole small at first so you can fit, fit this connector through and it kind of will keep any kind of moisture or uh, water be able to run through that harness all right now that i got all the exterior under the hood um, harness is installed. I'm gonna start zip tying them. It's kind of tedious and it is your um, Preference of how you want to zip tie it. You know, like I said, I like to keep it along the Factory harness because it kind of keeps you out of the way of anything chafing that you're not used to um, uh, Like in, in this one I routed it close to the fuse block. There is like a little tray down here I kind of tucked it in try to keep it away from the battery in case your battery leaks battery acid onto the Derringer harness. So uh, let's keep going. I'm just going to do a little time lapse of me zip tying it. Alright, one last look of it all zip tied up, nice and secure. Um, nothing's bouncing around. See, I got the harness right here. Just kind of zip tie those connectors together so they're just not flopping around. Uh, nothing super tight or serious. Uh, it's just so it keeps the vibration down on the connectors. All right, now see this is the little LED bank says tell you to keep that on the outside so you can see what it does doing. Um, it does give you codes, I believe, if something does go wrong or something's not communicating. Uh, let, now that we're done under the hood, let's uh, start mounting that eye dash so we can fire this thing up and go test drive it. And then we'll, uh, we'll probably make a whole separate video on the Banks Ram air intake. 
All right, so the under the hood stuff is all done. We have the first, the under the hood harness and derringer um, connector that will go up into the eye dash and that will communicate to the derringer so you can change settings and monitor um, all the different PIDs and stuff. Same with the DL, DLC connector. This will also plug into the back of the eye dash. Pretty cool. Um, we also have the Banks pedal monster that we're gonna install now, and that will also communicate with the eye dash so you can probably change the sensitivity on your pedal. Man, this is pretty sweet how far they've come. Uh, I'm super excited to see how this thing drives with the Derringer and the pedal monster. So just like the Derringer harness, um, this will plug right into the accelerator pedal connector. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'll get a. I'll try to get a snapshot. You can kind of see a glimpse of it right there on top of that uh, accelerator pedal module. So I'll get that hooked up and then show you what it looks like once it's all zip tied in. Uh, they give you nice little holes to zip tie it clean. Um, the, there's monitoring LEDs on the module. Um, I believe this is something to for the if you don't have the eye dash to connect to your phone Bluetooth. And here are the two connectors so you can talk to it with the eye dash. All right, just like the Derringer, it's super simple. Um, it hooks up right in line with that harness. Uh, then you just zip tie it and then the module is just right here. And then you plug in the eye dash connector harness. And now we have all three and these will kind of all coil up in this uh, left side of the driver's dash so you can hide all the wires and you want to wait to do that until you get your eye dash in like I mentioned before Banks gives you a mobile version of their install instructions for each kit so this is the this is the pedal monster um, it's simple man you, it gives you any question that you have just follow it step by step um, how to plug it into the Derringer once you're in all started up it'll tell you how to change the settings in the derringer uh, man it's it's just simple this is just ready plug and play no need to you can buy this kit and install this yourself no need to have to pay a shop freaking thousands of dollars to install this so man, you'll, you'll pick one of these up it's so easy to install all right for this you're definitely gonna want to have like a little sharp pick um, and a 10 millimeter uh, socket or impact so you can um, get this a pillar um, handle off um, follow the bank's instructions carefully it says to disconnect the battery there could be an airbag um, connector behind this that you have to be careful with so just make sure you follow the instructions but you will need this little pick um, I always include some links in my in the description uh, that has some trim tools and stuff like that be careful if you do use the metal pick because you could damage the plastic on this so most of the time a plastic trim tool is a really good idea. Um, now that we got those uncovered, we can see the 10 millimeters that hold this on. Um, your pod should mount, I believe, to this lower one, and you will be drilling a hole into this plastic so that the harnesses um, can run through the pod mount into your eye dash. Pretty sweet, so it's all hidden, um, looks clean. Uh, let's keep going. Let's get this A pillar off and I'll show you where, where we're gonna drill. All right, so I unbolted those 10 millimeters and pulled it off. Um, this clip did stay into the uh, A pillar. Just make sure that yours came out with your A pillar panel and you just put it right back on and you're good to go. Let's go take this thing to the bench and uh, drill it. Um, the instructions are super clear. You can see there is a pass through there and this just fits right on the panel like that. So you're going to end up drilling the hole a little bit bigger there. They do supply a drill bit which is super nice, um, a little step bit so it's, it's really easy, easy to use and determine how big the hole is. And then you just go from there, you'll be able to slip that 10 millimeter back in and you still have um, the functionality of the handle to get in and out of the truck. All right, there we go. Super simple. Like I said, they give you that step drill bit, which is sweet. Um, and they also 
uh, tell you right where to drill on the instructions. So the hole lines right up, just like that. You can basically see how nice that hole is so you can get your, all your feeds into that eye dash. Um, they do supply an Allen bolt, which is cool with the rounded head so you can kind of get in there at an angle and tighten up that, that A-pillar handle. So, all right, let's keep going and get this thing installed into the truck so we can drive it. So this will probably be the trickiest part, um, fishing each of the harnesses up through the A-pillar and then into the uh, new pod mount. Um, I, it's just kind of resting there right now. Lots uh, that it goes. Uh, it's all a little tricky. Definitely will need two hands. Um, maybe even somebody helping you hold something if you need it. But uh, it's it's pretty simple and straightforward. So just do your best. Take take a deep breath, and it, it'll all go back together. And then boom, just like that, that that one clip here, it sits down in the slots of the dash. And then there's one clip here, and then the the two bolts will go back in to secure it firmly. Um, you have a little bit of slack. I'm hoping that I can adjust the slack once I get this all bolted up and plugged into the eye dash. All right, so it is always important to follow the instructions. I did get a little confused and I ran all three. Um, the Derringer with the eye dash and Pedal Monster, the, the Derringer will plug into the Pedal Monster module. And like I said, Banks gives you all that info with a wiring diagram to show you exactly where they go because the i-dash only has two spots to plug in so that's awesome that they all talk to each other um, way to go banks all right i-dash is plugged in um, should be able to just kind of slide this in you may have to pull on the, the two wires that are um, going to it just kind of line them up and then it's a nice little snug fit there and this is so cool they Banks came a really long way with their mount. I remember having to do the, the whole A pillar and it's like a new pillar. The color was never right and it kind of was floppy. Man, this thing is cool, it's sturdy. Look at that, no bouncing. Dang, sweet. Getting there, let's keep going. All right, give you a little glimpse of how I routed it. It's not a lot of room when you have all three modules, but it, it fits just nice in there. The DLC and the both of them plugged into the pedal monster and then running up to the eye dash. Then you just want to pop this trim piece back on. They go on so much easier than the old stuff. Kind of start on the back and just work this one works its way in. Just like that. If you miss a clip, it comes back out. Just make sure everything's lined up. Man, clean. Do you have to make sure that those clips, I just had one kind of like bend back, just pull it back off, make sure they're straight and they make it in their slots so all the seams are nice and straight. All right, for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's fire this thing up. Let's see what we got. Oh, it starts right up. That's a good sign. Uh, no, we got, do we have power? We do. Let's go. Let's go, let's see, I might have to do some updates. I've seen them do them right away. Boom, we are up and running, look at that. And now what you're gonna wanna do is get into those instructions and it will just give you a run through of, uh, of what you need to set. Um, I believe we go here and it already shows the Derringer and it's showing the power level. Sweet, just like that. Oh, look at this. Change all your levels. Just put it, let's see, there's eight. Let's see how many of them. Pedal calibration, let's see, there's, there's 10. Let's just put it halfway. Pedal calibration required. So we're gonna have to do that. Uh, let's, let's do that. Proceed, yes. Gas pedal completely zero. Okay. Okay. Success. 
Yes, download mobile app. Okay, we don't need that. Alright, let's look at this. Let's just put it to five, okay? Speed based trim. Now you're gonna wanna go and make sure it's just mode stop. Ooh, nice. City sport. Now my old truck, these were pretty crazy, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick it on sport and at level five. We're gonna go from there. Let's go back. Let's just look at this. Look at that. You can change your your level, your power level for the Derringer right there. So we'll put it all the way up at six. Let's go drive this thing. So I went through some of the different um, layouts and I picked the one that gives you your pedal monster adjustment and your Derringer adjustment. I added the boost in the center, um, ECT and then just RPM. And like it's super simple to just go through and change what PID you want, but I thought it was really cool to have the uh, Pedal Monster adjustment. So you just pick, so if you're on red, that's your Derringer, it's on stock. And let's put it to six, and then we'll go over to the Pedal Monster. I have it in Sport, but you can go down and it'll go City, and it kind of just goes through the different adjustments uh, I'm gonna keep it at sport about halfway and let's try that out see how this thing performs a uh, um, I don't know maybe we should just go a little lower on the on the tune that's stock nah let's put it all the way up are you kidding me let's do this all right here we go Feel the difference on that pedal it's just night and day Res the response on the pedal is amazing I love the pedal monster all right let's um, get out of here and we'll do a little zero to whatever we think safe on the street we're on wow wow the, this the response out of this pedal monster and the tuner is which is perfect. You don't need much more than this for a non-deleted truck. Holy crap. I love it. Man, my buddy is going to be shocked when he drives this. I have a, I have a good idea. Maybe we should film him on his first drive and just kind of see his face. Alright, let's do this. Wow. That power is freaking awesome. Now that's just on sport, about halfway up. So, and then just the tip, the tipping back into the throttle is just right back there. Nice. Banks. I mean, for the money and the ease of the installation, this is such a good option. Really cool, it gives you your pedal feedback. You can see what your what your pedal is at and then when you let off. It's cool little like kind of could help on fuel economy too, just to let you know like how hard you're pressing the pedal. And we still gotta install this Banks Ram air intake, get a little more sound out of this stock engine. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video. Um, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the Banks Ram Air Intake install that I got coming up next. Hey, thanks guys. See you on the next one.